All right, so this week was pretty uneventful, so I'm going to do a quick breakdown rather than some sort of montage thing, because nothing really happened. All right, so this week's app is called Countess. It's a Magic the Gathering life counter. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I'm sorry, but basically you keep track of someone's life in a game, and it lets you modify that. So let's start the breakdown. First off, we have the initial life totals. So we have the integers here for player one life and player two life. They both start at 20. And then we have the static text views for the life displayed on the screen. The text views are the text in the Android app and you have to identify which ones you're targeting in order to change those texts when you make an Android application. So that's what I'm doing right here. All right. So the on create, which is what's ran when your application runs, contains the standard Android things and then we'll start off with setting the typeface. This basically says, I want to use a custom font. Here's the custom font I want to use. It calls it from your assets right here. And then the specific asset is identified there. And then we actually identify those text views by saying, here's the name of the text view. And you can find it in my design with this name or ID rather, whatever. Um, and then we do the same for the new game one, but it doesn't really get used. Here I'm making sure that the new game text view isn't null and all those things. This really is wrong, but it works. And then we have the method here, which is start game. Basically, whenever you click the new game button, which is right here, it calls this. And this resets the game. How that works is that in the XML file for the design, there's an on click for each text view. The text view is clicked, it calls that method, and that method executes. That applies to every text view that we have. The first one is the new game. Now you'll see here, update life. Update life is called from every method except for update life, which is right here. And it just says, set the text view for player one and player two to whatever their current life total is. And then we have four methods here for adding and subtracting the life total of player one and player two, and then calling update life. That's the entire app. It really isn't complicated. It doesn't look the best, but it doesn't look terrible either. Here's what it looks like before we have our custom font, and we'll launch it and see what it looks like afterwards. And that's what it looks like when it's live. And you see I can subtract life, I can add life, and I can start a new game. I opted to rotate this because I want to be able to set the phone on a top of a table and the other player can, you know, manage their life total rather than me having to do it. There are a couple apps that offer this, but you have to manually set it. This does it by default. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and still have something that's usable. Overall, this app was pretty successful. I didn't have to spend a lot of time on it, and I did learn a little bit.